Hey there, I'm Nat. This is my co-host for today, Noodles. And fun fact about me, dog was my first word and I haven't stopped saying it since. I love dogs, always have, always will, but one of the things I hate is that there are so many great adorable dogs out there still looking for a home. One of my favorite Instagram accounts to follow is by the photographer Sophie Gamal. She completely pro bono goes into shelters and takes these beautiful portraits of dogs that are up for adoption. I had this idea at the end of last year to ask Sophie if I could tag along on one of her photo shoots and take my own behind the scenes photos on my phone and make a video about that. So that's what you're watching, a video about adoptable dogs that you should know about, documented with the help of five Google photography and camera apps that you should also know about. You ready to see some dogs, Noodles? I take that as a yes. Okay, let's go. First up, Max, AKA Maximus, AKA Max Cute. Max was super excited to get his portrait taken by Sophie, and I created my own portraits of Max using Snapseed. Snapseed is a photo editing app with a bunch of different tools and features. It's got filters, color adjustment, cropping, and you can add text to photos. I, of course, had to give Max a shout out for being Max Adorbs and Max Lovable. One of the most impressive features of the app is a healing tool, which I used on this photo of Neptune to get rid of the exit sign in the background. Next, I want you all to meet Champ and his happy wagging tail that I captured with the Motion Stills app. Champ has been through a lot. He was attacked by another dog and has a scar around his neck because of that, but he's a champ, of course, and is now healing up great. He was really sweet and cuddly during his photo shoot, and the Motion Stills app was perfect for capturing all his excited little motions. The app converts short videos into cinema graphs and time lapses using stabilization and rendering technologies. You can adjust the speed and how it loops, and then export it out as a video or a GIF. Noodles, do you pronounce it GIF or GIF? Yeah, I agree. This is Pocket, a sweet little doggo with an adorable teddy bear-like face. I mean, come on, look at those eyes, that tongue, that head tilt. Honestly, I've been thinking about her ever since I met her. She's just one of those dogs that I still can't believe is real. Because she's so cute, I wanted to take a million selfies with her and used a new app experiment from Google Research called Selfiesimo. How the app works is you just turn it on and it automatically launches the front facing camera, then snaps stylish black and white photos of you or you and your dog every time you pose. You can save all the photos as a contact sheet or just save your favorite selfie. Another app experiment from Google Research is Storyboard, which turns your videos into comic book layouts. I made a little video of my favorite moments from visiting the adoptable dogs you've met so far, plus some new faces like Diamond, Sunshine, Gouda, and Andrea. Then put that video through Storyboard for processing. Every time you pull down on the app, it creates a new look with a new layout. So I highly encourage you to just keep pulling down and seeing more dogs and more dogs and more dogs. Look, Noodles, more dogs, more dogs. Because the dogs were all so adorable, I took over 500 photos and videos at Sophie's photo shoot. And to organize them all, I used Google Photos. Since it backs them up for free, and you can search through them really easily. I also like the little animations it makes for you, like this one of Diamond sitting for a treat, and this one of Pocket peering into the camera, and this one of Champ giving my friend Trevor a kiss. Noodles, can I have a kiss? Thanks. Honestly, I can't believe that I got to take photos all day of dogs for my job. It was amazing. And I wanna give a big thank you to Sophie for letting me tag along on her photo shoot. And now I wanna let you know that if you haven't checked it out already, in the video description is a bunch of different info about all the dogs, Sophie's work, the shelter that we visited, and even more dogs. So definitely check that out. And if you do end up taking any photos or videos with the apps that I shared, leave me a comment below and let me know what you liked about them. And Noodles and I wanna say thanks for watching. We're gonna go uh, have some treat treats. Yes, the magic word. Maybe chase a squirrel or two. Got a jam-packed afternoon ahead of us. So bye for now. See ya.